there's a bulge under Yellowstone supervolcano, right underneath the lake. This is prismatic, of course, that's not Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone Lake so huge, it looks like a sea. And they call it the Inflated Plain. What is that? Well, in the year 2003, just two years after Yellowstone Volcano Observatory was established, uh, there was uh, a bulge found underneath the Yellowstone Lake. Let's remember that the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory was set up in the year 2001, one year after the BBC put out a documentary on Yellowstone Supervolcano. And it was so astonishing, so alarming, that the US government decided to open the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory at the site of the park. Now, uh, the article is on uh, this, I'll leave a link below for you, of course, is on USGS Volcano Hazards Program under Yellowstone. The 2003 bulge between, uh, beneath Yellowstone Lake. Articles in the press in 2003 reported a bulge beneath Yellowstone Lake and have generated some concern about possible dangers for residents or visitors to this area. And they say here below we answer some questions we've asked, we've been asked by the public and the press. High resolution bathymetric relief map of Yellowstone Lake was acquired by multi-beam sonar imaging and seismic mapping surrounded by colored geologic map of the area around Yellowstone Lake. Is there a bulge beneath the lake? Why is it called the inflated plain? Has the inflated plain been growing? And so what's the big deal? What is a hydrothermal explosion? Do any of the features beneath the lake relate to possible volcanic eruptions? Is there any possibility of a toxic gas emission from Lake Yellowstone as occurred in Africa some years ago? Is anybody assessing the hazard for new hydrothermal explosions? So these are the answers. Is there a bulge beneath the lake? Mapping the bottom, the lake bottom has revealed a variety of faults, hot springs and craters beneath Yellowstone lakes. Lake, the lake. They have hot springs, faults, and craters under the lake. In a scientific report by Morgan et al. in 2003, one feature was informally named the inflated plain, quote unquote, by USGS researcher Lisa Morgan, who organized surveys of the lake beginning in 1999. In mapping the entire lake, she and her colleagues identified a region about 2,000 feet long that rises about 100 feet above the lake floor. The area is the northern part of Yellowstone Lake, south southwest of Storm Point, and the area is home to many hot springs, and the nearby sediments have undergone chemical changes and alterations due to the flow of the thermal water. Why is it called the Inflated Plain? Seismic images of the, of the lake sediments in this area show that they were tilted, hinting that the region may have been pushed up or inflated. The amount of inflation would be much less than 100 foot height of the feature, but is currently unknown. The images appear to indicate that the uplift is associated with accumulation of gas from Yellowstone's hydrothermal hot water system. Similar inferred gas accumulations were also noted elsewhere within the lake. Future research will assess the amount of uplift and its origin, whether by gas buildup or other potential mechanisms. Has the inflated plain been growing? At present, at present, there is no evidence of recent growth of any features beneath the lake, and there is no indication that residents or visitors are in any danger. Temperature measurements from hydrothermal vents taken this year indicate no change in temperatures compared to those taken last year. The feature may have been there for decades or much longer. So what's the big deal? There may be none. This region has active hydrothermal features and possibly some uplift. It's possible that the area could host future hydrothermal explosions, 
but so could other areas beneath the lake and other areas within the park. What's a hydrothermal explosion? Hydrothermal explosions occur when water that feeds Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs is explosively flashed to steam, breaking rocks and throwing them up in the air. Small hydrothermal explosions events occur every few years at Yellowstone, mostly in the geyser basins, and usually pose little hazard. There is geologic evidence for a few large hydrothermal explosions, some leaving craters thousands of feet across near Yellowstone Lake and in other areas of the park. Such large explosions have not occurred within the last several thousand years. Two classic papers discuss evidence for hydrothermal explosions at Yellowstone, both in the geyser basins, Muffler and Al, 1971, and beneath Mary Bay in Yellowstone Lake, World et al., Wald and Al, at 1977. Now, do any of the features beneath the lake relate to possible volcanic eruptions? It is very unlikely. All active features are related to faults in hot water, that is, hydrothermal vents. Identified create, uh, craters were formed by the collapse or as a result of old hydrothermal explosions. Many of the rocks beneath the lake are lava flows more than 100,000 years old. Now, is there any possibility of a toxic gas emission from Lake Yellowstone as occurred in Africa some years ago? No, what occurred in Cameroon Lake, Lake Neos in 1986, resulted from carbon dioxide, CO2 buildup in the bottom waters of a tropical lake. In warm climates, lakes easily become stratified. In cold climates, however, the waters of lakes turn over once or twice a year. The cold water from melting ice sinks to the bottom of the lake. This creates a well-mixed lake with minimal potential for gas buildup. In addition, the CO2 at Lake Neos in Africa was cold and not associated with thermal water. Waters and gases from the hot vents beneath Lake Yellowstone will tend to rise through the lake due to their low density. Is anybody assessing the hazards from new hydrothermal explosions? A geologic hazard assessment of Yellowstone National Park is underway by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. The assessment will evaluate the known and potential hazards at Yellowstone from earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and hydrothermal explosions. Any new information on Yellowstone Lake will be made available to YNP officials and the general public. And this is the map of Yellowstone Lake, as you can see. To the west is what we call West Thumb Lake. That's where we recently had the quake swarms. And around there is where you have the Old Faithful Geyser. And as we said before, this, this is a color-coded high-resolution bathymetric relief map. That is the depth of the, of the water, uh, the uh, uh, land under the water, that is. The relief map of Yellowstone Lake, acquired by multi-beam sonar imaging and seismic mapping, surrounded by colored geologic map of the area around Yellowstone Lake. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.